Welcome back to the channel. This is another video on accounting based profitability analysis in SAP Surhana or margin analysis. In the video today, I will explain more details on the profitability characteristics and how we can configure SAP to determine the values of these characteristics when we do any transaction. Before I start, I want to answer one of the requests I receive a lot on LinkedIn. I receive a lot of requests for paid training and support from individuals, either who are working as SAP consultants or training to become SAP consultants. And I only provide paid services to enterprises, to companies. I don't provide paid services to individuals. I have tried doing this before, it didn't work out at all. So my advice to you is if you would like to receive a paid service, if you would like to receive a training or support on the system, then please get back to your company, get approval for a budget or get appro approval from your manager. And then the company can contact me officially to deliver this service. You can contact me on LinkedIn at any time and I will respond immediately. For others who would like to receive individual support, you can of course send me your questions or requests on LinkedIn and I will answer as much as I can. I'm really happy to receive your questions, but please note that currently I have 23,000 subscribers on the channel. So you can only imagine the amount of messages I receive every day, and I am only one person. So please don't get upset or feel, or feel bad if I don't respond to your message. I have been receiving some angry messages lately from people who I didn't respond to. Please don't feel bad about this. Now let's start with the video. I have already explained that a profitability characteristic is the market dimension I would like to report my profitability on. And in the SAP system, we can have mainly two types of characteristics. The first one is fixed characteristics. These are the ones automatically created by the system and automatically activated and included in any operating concern. And we don't have to do anything for them. And whenever we do any transaction SAP, SAP will automatically update these characteristics. For example, the company code and the posting date and the other basic fields. And I will show you a list of all the fixed characteristics that we have in the system. The second type is a user defined characteristic. These can either be standard fields that are in SAP and we are going to activate them and include them in our operating concern or these can be completely user defined characteristics so we are going to define the table and the field that we want to use and then we are going to tell SAP how to fill the values into these fields so in order to activate any characteristic in the, in the system we have two things to think about first is the definition of the characteristic itself so we define the characteristic and we include it in our operating concern and second is how is sap going to determine the values of this characteristic and there are many ways to do this in the video today i'm going to focus on the first part the different types of characteristics available and how we can define them in the system the configuration of characteristics is available in the transaction key ea0 this transaction can be used to configure an operating concern and also can be used for characteristics. Here I will insert the operating concern I'm using, AG00, enter. And here we can see all the details of my operating concern. As you see, I'm only using account-based COOPA. Then to go to the configuration of the characteristics, you can go to the data structure and click on display. But before I do this, I will click here to go to the change mode and then click on OK. And now I can click here on change. Here we have all the characteristics that are available in the system on the right side. And on the left side, I have all the characteristics that are activated for my operating concern. These are the user defined and the user activated characteristics. To see the fixed characteristics, you can go to extras and then click on display fixed fields. And these are all the fixed characteristics that are automatically by default activated for, uh, for any operating concern. As you see, these are very basic and very important fields. The company code, the product, the cost center, the sales order number. So these characteristics will be automatically activated for any operating concern and will be automatically um, published or automatically filled by values whenever we do any transaction. Now let's go back. Here you can see all the characteristics that are available and here are the ones I activated. I can easily select any characteristic from here and then move it to my operating concern and then it will be added. To define a new characteristic that's not available in this list, we can click here 
create characteristic and here we have the different options available for defining a characteristic the first option is to just add another standard characteristic and then use it in our operating concern and here we are going to pick an SAP table field to do this you just click here and these are all the tables available that we can pick a characteristic from so for example I will choose this one and then once you click on OK these are all the fields in the table that we can use as a characteristic so let's say for example I will use this one account at customer OK and then SAP automatically filled all the details of the field so we have the data element the data type and so on now whenever we do any transaction in the system SAP will also insert this characteristic into our profitability analysis reports now let's go back and see the other options again go to create and let's go to user defined fields now let's say the characteristic we would like to use does not exist in the SAP tables and I would like to define a, a new characteristic from scratch so for example I would like to divide the country into different regions north south east and west and whenever I do any transaction I want SAP to automatically determine the region based on the city that's available in the sales order to do this first we are going to define the characteristic for the region and second we are going to tell SAP how to determine the values based on the cities so we assign every city into a region now to define the characteristic we go into user defined here and then insert the characteristic name and whenever we def uh, define a user uh, customized characteristic we have to start with ww this is a standard rule in sap so we start with ww and then we add any other three digits so ww rg1 for example and then here we insert the description so region and here we have three different options we can either use with own value maintenance which means that we are going to include the values that are available for this characteristic in a table and whenever we insert any value in this field SAP is going to verify that the value actually exists in the table such as for example the customer numbers we cannot insert any customer number in the system unless it is actually created and it exists in the customers table if we choose this option SAP is going to create a table for this characteristic and we are going to maintain the values that are allowed for this characteristic in this table so this is a nice way for SAP to verify that any value filled in this field is actually matching with the values we maintained so to do this we choose with own value maintenance the other option is without a value maintenance it means that any value can be inserted in this field there is no actual value list that SAP is going to confirm against so any value can be filled and SAP has no way to default to check that the values inserted are actually correct or not the last one is with reference to an existing value it means that we are going to copy another data element into our characteristic so we insert the data element here now the one I am going to use is with own value maintenance I will click on OK and now as you see because this is a customized user defined characteristic there are no values available here we have to fill everything so the description is region let's say the short text is also region heading I will make it the same and then data type I would like this to be a character and this will have uh, two three digits so let's say we want to have east west north and south so for example I will say it will be five digits maximum I can click on save and here SAP will ask me would you like SAP to automatically create the value tables the check tables would you like SAP to automatically create them, create them for you or are you going to define them manually and then assign them here I will ask SAP to do them automatically and as you see the check table field the check table will be this one so I will, create, I will click on automatic and SAP created a table that's two, T2505 so this table you can actually display and you can maintain the values that you allow for this characteristic in this table so now we have all the values after this we activate the characteristic and we include it in our operating concern now you understand the different types of profitability characteristics available in SAP and how to define them if you need more details I have also created another member exclusive video showing a demo end to end on how to configure a characteristic how to include it in the universal journal and how to maintain the values so if you are a gold or an elite member you can check the value this video on the YouTube channel I have also added it to the playlist don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave me your comments and questions thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon